Hey, 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 Festy Man continuing with the best of 2016. And what we're up to now, ladies and gentlemen, is... <laughs> the best gig of 2017. Fortunately, I got to see a hell of a lot of gigs last year, uh, big and small, um, at festivals and in concert halls. Let me run a th through a few of them. Finally got to see Wolf Mother at the Guildhall O2 Southampton. Uh, absolutely amazing band. They didn't disappoint that the sound, the legendary bowed sound was there. It spoiled it, but Wolf Mother were amazing. I also wanted had the chance to see them at Victorious, but they coincided uh, with... Possibly, it's in the running for the best gig of the year. And it's my old favourites, and they are in there on merit. Not just because, you know, they're my mates and I like them. Backwater Old Blues Band at Victorious. Um, the vibe, it was amazing. Um, I was lucky down to be in the uh, photographer's pit. And people coming up because I had the t-shirt on. Who are they? Who are they? They're amazing. They're brilliant. The lads were on fire. The sound was brilliant. The stage was slightly small, but just right for them. Uh, they were just on point, and they just they loved it because they'd been there a long time. Uh, they'd had their kids with them. I'd been there all day as well. But when a band are enjoying themselves, they raise it. And I must say, that was a proud moment. It was a brilliant moment for me. So we have Backwater Roll Blues Band right up there in the top three okay now we then go on to the other gigs i've been to turing breaks and again listening to them on albums oh you know a little bit so so uh went along with barilla she took me along with her son james who is now in a really good band sweetener look out for them from portsmouth if you've got oh sorry i just said <laughs> south sea that's easy to say okay so i went along turing breaks but to watch them very professional you can see why bands like this do get the recognition because they are very, very good. Uh, the sound, the guy's voice was lovely. I loved it. Great night out. And then we had another one. It's another surprise for me. Maverick Sabre. Now, I'd heard a couple of his singles. And all of a sudden, I just think he's... E -oh -ah, e -e -oh -ah -ah. Uh, you know, it just... I, I don't want to see it. But we went out. I'm sure it was back in uh, March or May. Something like that. But it was a hot balmy night it was just wonderful the whole atmosphere going in there and he was great it was just him with a guitarist and he sat there drinking his jamesons uh you know and uh, maverick saber it's not a very irish name but he's a little irish fella funny lovely the songs and he could sing he could actually sing didn't put all the affectations in which was wonderful it was a great gig apart from stupid giggly girls in front of me um you know you this is your idol you come to talk him see him and adore him and, you know, do whatever to him backstage. But why stand there talking to each other and shouting and screaming? Nothing to do with the band. Fuck off! <laughs> anyway, so that was a good one. Um, massive attack. Boring. <laughs> Sorry, you know, just uh, boring. Very political. Just huge screens behind them. Flashing all these images and that lot. Fuck off. I don't want to see that. It's music, okay? You should come with a government safety wall. You're very professional. You were very good. You've travelled all over the world, enthralled people with all your music. I didn't like it. I didn't. But it was a great evening, though. It was great. It's great to get out. That was down in Portsmouth again. <laughs> uh, yeah, so then we go on to the uh, the smaller gigs. Good gigs that I went to. Um, dum, 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 dum. I've got it written down there. I can't quite read it at the moment. Uh, yeah, so new venues, engine rooms. Now, Talking Heads, let's just, Talking Heads hasn't kicked off yet. Um, Chicago Nine Blues Band, they've come on on well this year. Dirty Diesel, Outlaw Orchestra, at Gatefest. Awesome, awesome, you rocked it. Basement 83. Saw you there. You were amazing. Saw you at Victorious. Not quite so good there. Maybe because it was afternoon. Um, yeah, other big bad. Oh, of course, Nathaniel Rateliff. And it's not just yeah, not going down to see. It's the whole the whole day out, the hotel and everything, and drinks before and meeting people in the eleven. Absolutely love this guy, John McCurry from um, 
Johnny Boxcars, put it up on Facebook one day. It's one of those ones you listen to. Love it, love it, love it. Went on YouTube, saw the album, said, loved every single track he did. Went out, downloaded the album, played it and played it and played it. I still play it today. You know, some of the tracks which weren't so good to start with have now risen up and others have dropped back and my focus on. Went along to see him. Perfect, perfect, perfect. There was nothing wrong with it at all. But a very strange thing, though, his album seemed more live than the stage show. It lacked that little spark. There were no mistakes. Um, he connected with the band, but I think he's probably a shy, introverted person, and he's not that. But the music was spot on. It was, it was almost, well, it actually might have just been miming. Yeah, so that was the biggie. Now, now, I've already got Backwater Old Blues Band. Now, whilst I'm sat here, they have moved up into second place. Because in first place, just by sheer being blown away uh, unexpectedly, it is, number one, 2016. Best gig that Festman went to was... <laughs> Slightly different tune with that one. Vintage Trouble. Now, I'd never heard of them. Mark Richards from Ace Trio um, and various other bands he plays in. I should... <laughs> he talks about them all the bloody time. Anyway, he's a fancy coming along. Yeah, fair enough. Go and have a watch him on YouTube. Had a little look. Really good live band. The bloke likes crowd surfing. Gets there... Brilliant band on first of all, heavy rock. Uh, wasn't that interested? Well, I was, I liked it, but we were to the back. Anyway, we wheeled all the way down to the front. Typical, lovely, you know, showmanship band. Dark stage guitar. <laughs> A bit like Rocky, actually, but it was nothing like that. No one on stage. Light comes on, guitarist to dead. <laughs> Next thing you know, bit of uh, bass or drums. It doesn't matter what order, it doesn't really make that much difference. Again, that's. That's the bass drum. <laughs> it's not. It's high hat symbol. Light comes on him. Then a bit of bass. Level forty-two for you. But well, sorry, Barry Peppers. I don't know your. But Barry Peppers knocked Mark King out last Sunday. Knocked him out. Mark King could have been a thousand miles away. But Mark King, wherever he was, he was. Oh, I'm no king of the basis anymore. Barry Peppers took that mantle of the shipping in Swanage. The guy was a phenom. Anyway, the basis starts, and it's like the spotlight more. And then you hear the sound. And this, I mean, oh, okay, the band. Let's go back a little bit. The Vintage Trouble. They're dressed, um, it's sort of like a country rock. And they're just like in all the Jesse James cowboy gear. Slightly, you know, they're very stylish with it. You know, they want a cowboy band. Um, anyway, the guy comes on. It's James Brown. Fuck me, it's James Brown. It's not. I mean, you know, that's sort of like a generalisation. The guy is brown, black, dark skin, whatever, you know. That's it. It doesn't really make any difference. But the guy was like, oh, had this presence. Cream suit, you know, just fantastic. Complete and utter juxtaposition to the rest of the band. And he's come on and within moments, he's got the crowd clapping along. It's as though he's, this is his 10th number and we've slowly got in. He is there and there's a great song to open with and there's the crowd barrier. He's jumped up on it. People hold him and he's singing. Um, it is, whoa, what an opening. A um, lot of um, followers for them there so it's instant. Uh, they just went on and on and the song choices were, were brilliant. He would go from real fast uh funk and then slow right down to a nice soulful melody song and then a real slowy song but in go sorry 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 how rude of me you don't get this at the oscars do you uh but had the crowd and you just bring it up and of course then it was sweating and the whole atmosphere i was just absolutely every single song i was hanging off every single words i was buzzing i was jigging and he did the famous crowd surfing bit. But he kept going out into the audience and he, get it low now, get it low now, get it low now. And everyone went down on their haunches. And you did, I just, oh, I'm not doing that. I did, everyone got down and get it up there. Hiya, hi, and everyone's just slowly getting up. And it was just almost like this evangelistic, ritualistic thing. And we had, he was in his hands. He had us, he had us by the short and 
curlies, didn't he? Talking of short and curlies. Oh, yeah, yeah. We had brass thrown on stage. I've never ever seen that before. Yeah, I mean, it happens to be walking down the street, brass and knickers. Bloody wash your knickers, girls. Come on. <laughs> anyway, getting back to it, it absolutely blown me away. With Mark Richards, and he said, geez, they are absolutely amazing. Dino Mathias comes in. Um, for those of you who know him, he's the uh, lead guitarist and pretty much runs Backwater Roll. Um, and he said, you know, and he, he, he's a guy, he's in music and he sees bands all his life, he sees the top bands. He came away and said that is possibly the best gig he'd seen in his life. Now that, you know, for people to say that, that is amazing. So I come away from there and I want to tell everyone about it. So for just that sheer wow factor, the best gig for 2017 for Festi Man was... Vintage Trouble. I probably left out loads, you know, Flying Alexandras, uh, Junko Shakers, uh, Dirty Diesel Outlaw Orchestra, a special mention for Grant Sharkey. First time I saw that man. Different, very, very different, very political, not my cup of tea. I'm non political, I'm in the um, ostrich. Uh, party, I bury my head in the sound. I have absolutely no interest. My life doesn't hasn't changed in fifty nine years. Whoever's in power, but people have their passion, and he was passionate. But he made it into very funny songs, and it made me listen a little bit. But his style, I like that. But that's sorry, that's a, just a quick mention in there. Um, but yeah, the best gig really was Vintage Trouble, closely followed by Backwater Roll blues band and believe me i know they're my favorites and you know that they're my favorites i will tell them if they're bad and i have told them okay i've got the bruises to show for it they don't take criticism well so that's it <laughs> catch you soon that's can you feel the love <laughs> peace out <laughs> it's morning i'm not even pissed i think i'll go and get pissed and sit in the van i'm doing better anyway catch you soon